Hi guys, previously on the Kaito branding series, we designed the stylescape and created the logo for the Kaito brand. So for today, to move along into our branding process, we'll be creating a landing page for the restaurant. Usually when I start a design project, we start by uh, doing some research and looking into other people's work for inspiration. In this case, I'm looking at websites that restaurants have. I've seen a lot of great websites and they give me some ideas on what I need to include in my work. So now I start to write down some sections that I think is needed on the landing page. This includes uh, sections like the home, about, and of course the menu section. When I get a sense on what I need to include on the landing page, I start to work on some sketches. sketch of the wireframe that I was doing earlier. So basically my main goal here is to create more or less like a master plan on how the landing page will look like. This will be helpful for me in the design process moving forward because at least now I know what are the types of elements I need to include in my page, how are the sections divided, and practically how it's laid out in the page. <laughs> The home section is the first thing that the user will see when he or she lands on the page. So my goal here is to create a good first impression. By using a hero image in the Kaito logo, I am showing what Kaito is about without relying on a lot of words. For the navigation, I want to try something that is less traditional. On this version of the navigation, I'm using circles to show the user where he or she is on my landing page. I think this is also more interactive for the user, so when a user clicks a circle, he will go to that section and the rest of the circles will be dimmable. And in order to not confuse the user, I included some small text on the left that will help him or her decide where she wants to go. Personally, when I look at a menu at the restaurant, I immediately look at the photos and say, oh, I want that, without even knowing what it is. So in creating this menu, I made use of photos to make the design more interesting. I'm really into this isolated images where the backgrounds are removed. This menu design for Kaito, I was really inspired by this um, French restaurant called Le Mugs. They, say they have some isolated food images to represent different types of courses like appetizers, burgers, and also some desserts. They also have this line that sort of guides you through the different menu items they have, and I think it's really really cool, but when I tried it on my design, I really can't get the same effect or that same wow factor that I felt when I first saw it. So in order to move forward with this menu design, 
I think I will have to think of a more simple version of a menu that would be more appropriate to the photos that I have right now. Hi guys, so yesterday I left the menu design unfinished. So for today, that will be my focus. I wasn't really satisfied with the design. So now it's back to the drawing board for me and figure out what is the layout I will use for the menu. After trying out a few layouts for the menu, I finally found something that looks good to me and I paired it with the textured background. To give this menu design some more interesting elements, I like this idea of adding a silhouette type image of tempura pieces. And as you can see here, I have a shrimp tempura. I think this adds more depth into the design. And I am really a fan of how it turned out. <music> Lastly, I want to add some of the details about the restaurant, like the contact page, opening hours, and the integrated map for the location. finished designing the website and I got to a point where I can say I'm really satisfied with it. So based from my experience as a designer, at this point I get some feedback or get some approval. And just to move the process along, I wanted to make this website more responsive so now I'm gonna breeze through the mobile version of the landing page. <laughs> tip I can tell you when creating a mobile UI design is to check it on your phone. It's another thing to see it on the program and seeing it on the actual phone you have. You can do this in Adobe XD by connecting your phone to your laptop. Download the Adobe XD app on your phone and when you open it, you will see your designs. It's that easy, so I suggest you do this before showing your designs to a client because it gives you new perspective when you see your design actually on your phone or being out in the real world. And now we're all done. So here are the final designs of the landing page. <laughs> 